so hello everybody so far we have we have built our model now it's time to validate our model so without further delay let's get into the video this is our final index okay now let's see how to validate your final index map so you can validate by many things like arsenic concentration and nitrate concentration so i think nitrate is the best option but if your saturated zone is if is highly reducing then it will not work for you so in our case it was highly reducing that's why nitrate concentration was very low so we used arsenic you will use all of those parameters which one will best suit you will validate those parameters that parameter so let's see how I actually we do that so at first we are going to import our excel file fine xy data okay fine now there are many ways to validate your map but model but one is like here in this location what was your arsenic concentration then you will determine what was your index value for this location again for this location this location all of them so how can we do that let's go to properties okay go to label add station but, uh, apply fine now in this station what is our exact index is we don't know but we know it is in the medium zone that is in between 73 to 87 so to know exactly go to properties and then display just click this show map tips apply fine now let's say see now here in beside your hand you can see the number the exact index value for this location so, so now you have to make one excel sheet sorry okay so we have this station one for the station one arsenic concentration is seven insert make one like index and for station one let's see what is our index value so this is our index station one and for station one index is 70 So right here 70 so similarly you have to collect all the data all the index values for each station so that's a little tedious but there's another option we'll see that in a minute so let's say for station 2 it was 80 for th station 3 it was 79 etc etc so we are just going to see it a random values first okay. fine now what we will do is we will make a scatter part that uh, sorry insert see this one so then after that <laughs> go to trend line linear and you can go to more option 
then display equation r square so it's I'm just showing you how to do that then you will find the r square value or you can do that in Python the correlation in between these two parameters if correlation is high then it's good to see that say that you can say that your model is more or less validated that is arsenic is correlated with your index but it should occur in the case of nitrate actually so you see plot like this or something like this okay depends on your values okay that's it and another way is the first way is actually correlation if it is highly correl positively correlated then it's good okay if you don't have any you don't see any correlation in between arsenic and your index index then you have to see another parameter which one will best fit you will use that parameter to validate your model okay now go ahead and see another method so to do that at first go to properties and uncheck it clear it out fine now go to properties symbology then quantiles graduated symbol and here value in this value give arsenic six okay fine color color was okay okay apply fine now I'm going to tell you what this means actually. So just change it this color. Okay. <laughs> now this blue type color means highly vulnerable zone and red is medium and this one is low. Sorry, this one is medium and this yellow type is low okay now those large bubbles are saying you can also modify it like uh, let's classify it to three classes and give like for Bangladesh standard for arsenic in drinking water WHO standard is 10 microgram Bangladesh is 50 and okay okay apply fine so the large one is 50 to 990 so it's very high concentration so now what we are going to do is we are going to see in the highly vulnerable zone how many arsenic samples that are in high concentration level are occurring how many arsenic samples are in high zone then how many samples that are in low zone that contains low arsenic concentration and after that you see you can see here that in our low zone arsenic concentration is actually low maximum of them are low see here it's low low this yellow zone is low low vulnerability zone and and in here arsenic is arsenic level is low so you can say that our model is more or less more or less what we can say more or less validated so you can write like this out of 64 samples 15 samples exceeded Bangladesh standard of which percentage you can give samples fall in low moderate 
and this is the last one I know so that's it for now if you find this video helpful then like subscribe and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section okay